Good morning, Merry Christmas. Of course, for you guys, it'll be the day after when you're seeing this. I just woke up and I'm about to work on getting the vlog up real quick and then we're going to make breakfast and do presents. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be a really fun, chill day at home. And I'm gonna make a white chocolate mocha and I'm gonna show you how I do that. First, I gotta get this video up real quick. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 26. You're gonna be seeing this the day after Christmas, but it is Christmas for me. I already said that, I think, though. And I have yesterday's vlog up. Christmas Eve vlog is up. It's live. So you know what that means. It is now time to make breakfast casserole. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make a vegan white chocolate mocha. That's right, let's get to it. We may have messed up on the whipped cream part. That's pretty good. It is delicious. Homemade vegan white chocolate mocha. Mm -hmm. So breakfast casserole is an old family recipe and it starts with Hash brown patties. And the hash browns form the base layer. So I couldn't find any just like vegan sausage grounds. So I got these whole foods, plant-based, breakfast patties and I'm just gonna like crumble them up. So they're cooking right now. So we mixed up the just egg, the sausage crumbles, a little bit of cheese and some frozen spinach. And we layered it on top of the hash browns. Now I'm just gonna take a little more cheese and sprinkle it on top. We're gonna let that cook until the just egg is cooked all the way through in a 400 degree oven. While that's in the oven, we're gonna do Christmas. And also, I was supposed to show y'all what I got for Christmas at my partner's mom's house, and I never did. We definitely should wipe off the table mm -hmm. before we do this. So I'm gonna show you those real quick. They got me a hair dryer because I did not have one. Y'all know I've been going to bed with my hair wet and it is not helping the curly girl method at all. So hair dryer, a uh, bath rack for my little Sunday night bath, 
and this is full of new dishes that I'm going to unpack today so that I actually have really pretty dishes now and the right dishes to serve things on. Instagram is about to get an upgrade. Oh yeah, I just put a bunch of chocolate in it. Got, no, this one's espresso, and then this one is vanilla, and then this one is sea salt. Espresso, vanilla, sea salt, little mini crispy. Because this crispy is nice. And it's empty. And it's empty. What did you do? It's a voucher for one Instant Pot and Fryer Lid. <laughs> I didn't know which one I wanted to get you because they had a bigger one at Best Buy. They had a better one at Best Buy that also came with a fryer lid. So you get a voucher. And I'll take you and we will buy the thing. <laughs> oh wait, also, because it probably wouldn't fit in there. I mean, I got this too, but I really just needed the two. So, I was just gonna throw this away, but you can have it if you want. Where are we gonna put it? In the office? Yeah, maybe you could put it up over your desk. Yeah. Hogwarts poster! From Dear Diary. It's a print. Oh my gosh, it's pizza! Giant pizza that's just been under the tree for a week. Yeah! It's the best kind of pizza. I mean, seriously, it does look like a pizza. It does. Careful, there's an um, address over there. Well, actually, no, that's my P.O. Box address. Never mind. Doesn't matter. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Fooled you again, boy. We don't live in a box. Are you sure it's not a pizza? This really looks like a pizza. Honestly, I think it's in a weird box. <sighs> wow, that big box. <laughs> For this thing? That's weird. What is it? Uh, look who it's from. And it might give you a hint. If you, no, look, up, look on the tag to see who sent it. And it might give you a hint. I was saying, yeah, why did they put it in a I pizza box? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It, it's also poi. The ends come off and they're also poi. Mm. So that's why they're detached. Mm. Multi so I gave you two flow toys in one. I love it. forward to doing many, many crazy weird fun things with this. <laughs> it's casserole time! I think it's done. I think it's all the way done. First time making breakfast casserole with the Just Egg. I'm super excited to see if it turned out good. We're gonna serve it up and give a little taste test. I definitely should have sprayed the pan with non-stick spray and I forgot to, but that's okay. Still came out all right. Oh my goodness. That tastes like just like. When you made it as a kid. That tastes just like when I made it as a kid when I, growing up. It tastes just like mom made it. Like the just egg actually coagulated into egg and in casserole form and it worked. And as an adult though, this needs hot sauce. I'm going to uh petition that this becomes not just a Christmas thing. Now we're gonna finish watching Charlie Brown while we eat our lunch, and then we're gonna go play Final Fantasy XIV on Twitch, and then maybe Minecraft later. All right, we've been playing for, I think, like three hours, maybe a bit more, maybe four hours, 
Then we've had Christmas movies going in the background. We've gotten through Polar Express. We now have Elf on. Um, we watched Grinch, so all the Christmas movies going. Now we're gonna make dinner. Uh, we're having spaghetti and meatballs. I get to try these meatballs. I'm excited. And I forgot to say, the recipe for the breakfast casserole and the white chocolate mocha will be in the description so that you can make those at home. salad, a little spaghetti and meatballs, a little mozzarella on top. I'm excited to try these meatballs. Tastes like Beyond Meat. Honestly, there's not much more to it. It just tastes like Beyond Meat. Okay, let's try this again because apparently my camera froze. So, we've been playing Final Fantasy all night and we just did two dungeons that were basically on level and we died a bunch of times, but then by the last boss, we had our shit together, we were in our groove, we were able to take it down without dying, and it was, oh, it was a very intense two hours, those two dungeons. Because we essentially did them back to back. Now we're gonna switch to Minecraft for the rest of the night. I'm still live on Twitch, but we're gonna switch to Minecraft, be a little more chill, and I'm making some hot cocoa with the rest of our hot cocoa bombs and some of the whipped cream, because we bought some whipped cream. Got the milk heating up over here. I forgot there was marshmallows inside of the hot cocoa bombs. That makes me happy. I can't believe I forgot that. That was the whole point. Everything's encased in the hot cocoa bomb. Merry Christmas, happy Vlogmas. Vlogmas is finally over. I'm gonna take a few days off. I'm probably not gonna upload anything until the new year. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas. I had a lot of fun filming it. It was rough at some points, but I'm so proud of myself for actually finishing Vlogmas my very first year. I can't believe I did that. That is such an amazing accomplishment. I feel like I'm very proud. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite video was. I know what my favorite was, but I want to know what your favorite was. What was your favorite? You haven't even watched them, have you? But you were there for a lot of them, so what was your favorite? Decorating the tree. Decorating the tree? On 316. Sustainably decorating a tree? That was really cute and fun. All right. For the last time of Vlogmas, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you never miss a, not Vlogmas day anymore, so you never miss a video, a recipe, or whatever I end up uploading next. And like this video if you liked it. I think doing that so much all month, I actually have it down to where I can get it easily, one take all the way through. And I will see you guys not tomorrow, but probably next week. I hope you guys enjoyed your Christmas. Let me know in the comments how your Christmas was, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, y'all.